Good evening, and welcome to the 23rd Annual Marion County Student Media Festival. Tonight, we will honor Marion County's best and brightest videographers in 12 categories across four grade levels, and most importantly, best of show. Please give a warm round of applause for this evening's host, a former TV production student at Donnellan High School and radio show host from K Country 93.7, Kathy Dugan. Well, good evening and welcome to the 23rd Annual Marion County Student Media Awards Festival here in the Brown Green and Cole Auditorium on Marion Technical Institute's campus right here in the heart of Ocala, Florida. I'm Kathy Dugan, your host. It's a very exciting evening. We are all here to honor the very best Marion County student video productions as well as the students who produced them. And let me say, I am so excited to join you this evening. You know, radio is great. I love my morning show gig, it's awesome. But to be here in person with you tonight and just over the top, it's just over the top, it's so exciting. And all of you look amazing tonight, of course. You sound great, too. We'd also like to welcome our viewers at home who are watching us live on the Marion Education Channel and on our YouTube channel at Marion County K-12. If you missed part of the show tonight, or maybe you want to share your successes later on social media, we have good news. Tonight's show will re-air, which is awesome, through April, Fridays and Saturdays at 7 p.m. and Sundays at 2 p.m. Now tonight, it's a celebration of this year's videos and the journey that brought them to the stage. It was another banner year with our students. We received 232 video entries from 20 schools across Marion County. Throughout late February and March, entries were viewed and judged by a panel of local-based talent, all assessed on camera work, audio, editing, creativity, and their overall effect. And that is no simple task. Many of the segments you will see tonight will advance to the Florida Association for Media and Education, Jim Harbin State Competition, where Marion County has led the state and finalists for 22 of the last 23 years. Now, before we get to the awards, it's important that we follow this outline of what will unfold. We'll spend the first half of this evening recognizing finalists from kindergarten through fifth grade, First, second, and third place honors will be presented in these categories. Advertisement, animation, book trailer, comedy, documentary, drama, instructional, music video, news feature, news show, public service announcement, and public service video. Then we will hold a drawing for the elementary division for new video equipment. And of course, we will award best of show prizes to the best entry from grades K2 and 3-5. After the elementary level best of show, we'll have a brief intermission, and then we will do it all over again. But the second time around, we're going to be recognizing middle and high school students, which is also very exciting. So, before we proceed, let's take a moment to talk about timing and stage direction. Teachers, you received a list of the videos that will receive honors tonight, so please have your students line up along the wall on stage right with Ms. Self and Ms. Fishback in the category prior to the one you're placed in. They'll be helping to get you lined up to go on stage. Once you're up here, please don't stop to watch your video. Walk immediately to the center of the stage and receive your award. Careful step down stage left and return to your seat. So are you ready to receive your awards, huh? Let's hear it! <laughs> Let's meet our first presenters. She's the Development and Communi Community Outreach Director at the Institute for Human and Machine Cognition here in Ocala. She's also the creator of the Ocala Film Derby involving some of the students here tonight. He is one of our own homegrown presenters. He graduated from Westport High School. He joined Marion County Public Schools in 2021 and now serves as the communications manager for Marion County Public Schools. To announce the winners of the categories of advertisement and animation, please welcome Lori Zink and Greg Davis. Thank you guys. It's great to be here tonight with all of y'all. So, Greg, advertisements are the bread and butter for many companies. Think about the advertisements we all see from McDonald's and Burger King and Subway and Publix are some that I think about. 
Yeah, so uh, we're going to see how uh, everybody does with this. Let's try a couple of taglines, okay? So I'm going to start it off and you finish it. So uh, let's go ahead and say, goldfish, the snack that... All right, we can get a little bit better. How about... Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. That's better. Yo, how about one more? Let's try candy. Uh, Skittles, taste the... All right, you know it. You know it. I like that. All right, so I think we should go ahead and get started. Yes, absolutely. And we've got, got it right here. Okay. All right. These are for you. For me? Yes. Okay. All right, so in the grades K2 division, in the category of advertisement, taking second place, MSA Backpacks for Sale, Madison Street Academy. Well, we have special MSA backpacks you can only get at Madison Street Academy. I like the MSA. Great job. Good job, good job. You guys got to go that way. <laughs> they like the stage. They do. They do. Okay. Oh, we got all kinds of stuff. Okay. Yes, yes. This is pretty. All right. And the winner of grades K2 division in the category of advertisement, we have Stan the Sloth, Stan Weirsdale Elementary. All right, now in the grades three through five division in the category of advertisement, taking third place, Game On, Stan Wearsdale Elementary. Hey kids, are you guys bored? Well, there's an after school. Congrats. All right, next up in the same uh, grades through three, three through five division in the category of advertisement, we have taking second place, Dog Sauce, Shady Hill Elementary. All right, and the winner of grades three through five division in the category of advertisement, we have Wishy Wish Pack, Shady Hill Elementary. painstaking frame animation has provided an outlet for artists to create and share with us little pieces of their imagination for like over a hundred years for sure from a fish trying to reunite with their family to a mouse who does it all they drew the path for our young animators so here are this year's finalists in the grades k 
two division in the category of animation. We're switching spots there. In the category of animation, we have Let's Share a Toy, Madison Street Academy. <laughs> Okay, and now for the winner of the grades K through two, sec, K through two, division in the category of animation is Let's Play Catch, Stanton Weirston. Let's Play Catch. Oh, one day. Great. Now, in the grades three to five division in the category of animation, taking second place is the Barnabas Project, Shady Hill Elementary School. First, Barnabas lived in a secret lab. He thought that one day he could put on the grass and look at the stars, but Pip said, <laughs> Am I supposed to? And now we have the winner, first place for animation in third through fifth grade is the Plant Life Cycle, Madison Street Academy. The Plant Life Cycle. As a seed flies in and lands into a part of So congratulations to all the students. Please give them a huge hand. All right, ready? Okay. Now that's a great way to start our awards tonight, isn't it? Let's meet our next presenter. She's a children's author and former radio junkie who always supports Marion County Public Schools. She's now retired, but doesn't sit still for long. No, she doesn't. Her co-presenter and co-professional -pro -pro career partner and fellow radio DJ is a gentle giant and a gifted artist who illustrates children's books when he's not playing the accordion. To announce the winners for book trailer and comedy, please welcome Robin McBlain and Larry Whitler. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hey, I know you. Kathy's How you doing? Kathy's wonderful. <laughs> nice looking stage, huh? Yeah. How did Kathy know I played the accordion? I don't know. She's tricky. Uh, She's fabulous. That gets around. That's <laughs> so cool. In 2011, Fame added book trailers to its competition, inviting students across the Sunshine State to use their video production skills to draw the viewer into a good book. No matter the book, it was the job of the producers to kindle Thank you. A curiosity that can only be satisfied by the written word. <laughs> and now, here are this year's finalists. All right. Oh, I hand them out? Yes. All right. Where are they? <laughs> In third place, book trailer, kindergarten through second grade is Rufus Goes to School, Madison Street Academy of Visual and Performing Arts. <laughs> Woo! Yay. Rufus Goes to School. Yeah, Rufus wants to learn to read. The principal will not let him. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> second place book trailer, kindergarten through second grade is too much glue, Madison Street Academy of Visual and Performing Arts. <laughs> Too much glue Yay. for Jason Lucky. <laughs> Too much you glue. You are creating art. Oh, look at those sparkly dresses. Thank you. And this all goes together. <clears throat> Thank you. 
How can we get older, but they're all still the same age? Last I know. <laughs> and the winner of the grades K through two division in the category of book trailer is on the account of the gum, Shady Hill Elementary School. <laughs> In the grades, three through five division in the category of book trailer, taking third place is Night Owl, Anthony Elementary School. Be good moral, because if small, you can accomplish big things. Owl had one wish to be a knight, but nobody thought he could do it, and all his friends laughed at him. He applied to knight. And taking second place in book trailer, third through fifth grade, is Sir Ladybug, Stanton Wearsdale Elementary School. One beautiful morning in the dandelion patch, a group of friends were trying to decide. Ah, oh, the big one. <laughs> the pretty one. <laughs> and now for first place, the winner of the grades three through five division in the category of book trailer is the Panda Problem, East Marion Elementary School. Uh, There's a comment sound in the hey. book with a panda who had a serious problem. Nope, no problems here. What? How could we have a book with no problems? Well, we can make our own problems. Oh, okay. Alrighty. There we go. I'm on this side. Oh, we're changing things over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> knock, knock. <laughs> <laughs> That's her line. <laughs> they did a good job. Knock, knock. Who's there? Oh, uh, <laughs> Tank. Tank who? You're welcome. <laughs> I know, I know. Blame Kevin. <laughs> Okay, well imagine the tremendous task put before tonight's comedy finalists, who from thin air have conceived an idea and developed it to fruition, seeking only to make you smile. Let's find out who they are. <laughs> the winner of grades K through 2 division in the category of comedy is, oh, I get to do this? Yeah. Drum roll, please. Drum roll. Da, da, da. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Holly and Jolly, Stanton Weirsdale Elementary School. And that is the story of the two magical elves. Okay, guys, go head back to your seats. I Third through fifth, thank you. All right, I'll figure this out, Robin. Okay. We've only done it 20-something years. I know, 22. All right, in third place, comedy, third through fifth grade, is Dino Joke, Stanton Weirsdale Elementary School. <laughs> hey, what do you call a sleeping dinosaur? What do you call a sleeping dinosaur? Dinosaur. Thank you. All right, in grades uh, three through five division in the category of comedy, taking second place, Movie Mayhem South Ocala Elementary School.
you, sir. That's a nice looking award. It's back. All right, that's a nice looking thing. Look at that thing. That's nice, right? <laughs> it's beautiful. All right, and the winner of the grades three through five division in the category of comedy is Lost Items Shady Hill Elementary School. You all did very well. Robin and I helped judge, and we saw many of your videos. You guys are outstanding. Keep it up. Good job. Well, let's meet our next presenters. She's a longtime supporter of this festival, both as a judge and sponsor. Thanks to her leadership and strong experience with one of tonight's sponsors, Cox Communications. Her co-presenter teaches geometry at Forest High School school, but more incredibly is Marion County's 2024 Teacher of the Year. To announce this year's documentary and drama winners, please welcome to the stage Devin Chestnut and Jennifer Brown. Documentaries set out to inform the viewer about real people or events taking us, uh, taking us to places we might otherwise never see. We learn so much by watching, or so the students in this category hope. Rolling around with perseverance on the red planet, living the life of a princess, and extinguishing the need to go inside a volcano. Let's see how our students cure this, our audience's curiosity. First place in documentary, kindergarten through second grade. Adopt, don't shop, Shady Hill Elementary School. The Humane Society is a nonprofit organization that is home to many dogs and cats. It is dedicated to the care and protection of animals. It is open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., closed on Sunday. The Bark Bus brings animal education directly to In the grades three through five division in the category of documentary, taking third place, meeting Albie, station, uh, Stanton Weirsdale Elementary School. Hello, WDD Angelus. Thank you for taking the time to meet with us today. You're welcome. In the grades three through five division in the category of documentary, taking second place, who is Aubrey Barnes, Shady Hill Elementary School. Who is Aubrey Barnes? Well, I'll tell you, she's not your average third grader. Today, we're gonna tell you And the winner of the grades three through five division in the category of documentary, first place, Old Coins Can Be Cool, Stanton Weirsdale Elementary School. Hi, my name is David. I've been Can the zombies be stopped? Is your teacher an alien? Dramas pull us along an unpredictable path, all while tapping into the most powerful entertainment of all, storytelling. 
Let's find out who tonight's winning storytellers are. In the grades K-2 division in the category of drama taking second place is The Missing Headphones, Stanton Weirsdale Elementary School. Okay, everyone, put your headphones on your computer. It's time for specials. I love the computers. It's really amazing. In the grades K through 2 division in the category of drama, we have a winner in taking first place. The winner is Scarecrow Adventures, Shady Hill Elementary. Such a beautiful day. I love the sun shining on my face. We've seen you before. In the grades third through fifth division, in the category of drama, taking third place is Candy Monster, Shady Hill Elementary. Okay, boys and girls, you had a really good day today, so I'm going to go ahead and give you a special treat. Yay! Skylar, can you please bring me... And taking second place is Animal Cracker Nightmare by Stanton Weirsdale Elementary School. Oh, why doesn't my mom listen to me? What's wrong, Destiny? And the winner of the grades three through five division in the category of drama is The Missing Library Books, Madison Street Academy. Your new book just came in yesterday. It's over there. Where'd you say it was? Congratulations, students. Moving right along, let's meet our next presenters. She's an elementary teacher by profession and a Golden Apple recipient. She's also currently serving as the vice chair of the Marion County School Board, and he's a 2010 Vanguard High School graduate and winner of this fest very festival. Now he's helping lead one of Ocala's premier multimedia companies, Dylan Video Productions, to announce the winners for instructional and music video. Please welcome Lori Conrad and TJ Reddy. Maybe you want to tackle the basics of a second language, or learn how to do the latest TikTok dance, or make a, make a simple but delicious peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Even though they're in elementary school, the following finalists took on the instructor role and taught us something new. Here are this year's finalists. In grades K through two, division in the category of instructional, taking third place is how to make applesauce, Stanton Weirsdale Elementary School. Hi, I'm Alana. Hi, I'm Luke. Gonna show you how to make applesauce. Thank you. Taking second place is how to Make Crayon Shapes, Madison Street Academy of Visual and Performing Arts. We are here to tell you how to make crayon shapes. And the winner for grades K through two 
division in the category of instructional is Dog Treats, Shady Hill Elementary School. Store-bought treats have lots of chemicals in our high fat. Homemade treats have healthier ingredients to benefit your dog's health. Thank you. And now, in the grades three through five, division in the category of instructional, taking third place is Hanukkah Festival of Lights, Madison Street Academy of Visual and Performing Arts. Taking second place is Organize, Don't Improvise, South Ocala Elementary School. And the winner of the grades three through five division in the category of instructional is Library Don'ts, Shady Hill Elementary School. Did you know that there were actual procedures in the media center? Well, some Music, dancing, singing, and playing with a video camera. No wonder elementary school students flock to this category. It sounds like a party. But just as throwing a party requires planning, forethought, and plenty of cleaning up, music videos are more than just a good time. They're the result of finding just the right song and adding just the right imagery. As you see, tonight's finalists seem to have found the perfect match. Here in this year's finalist in the grades K2 division in the category of music video, taking third place is Living Non-Living, Madison Street Academy of Visual Arts, Visual and Performing Arts. And in second place, music video kindergarten through second. And the winner is Dino Stomp, Stanton Weirsdale Elementary School. And the winner of the and the winner of grades K2 division in the category of music video is Jingle Jangle Money in My Pocket, Stanton Weirsdale Elementary School. In the grades three through five division in the category of music video, taking second place is The Life Cycle, Madison Street Academy of Visual and Performing Arts. Yo, yo, this is the flow, flow of a life cycle. Yo, let's go in a circle around the world to see the life cycle and observe. And the winner of grades three through five division in the category of music video is School is Cool, Stanton Weirsdale Elementary School. 
If you go to school, you're so cool. School, school, you're so cool. School. It's your turn. Time. Congratulations, Congratulations to students. All our students. Our next presenters are ready to hit the stage. She's a former Ocala Star Banner newspaper reporter who now makes her living as an accredited public relations professional who counsels others in PR matters at Career Source Citrus Levy Marion. Her husband and co-presenter tonight uses words and audio to make a living as a reporter with Central Florida Public Media, the NPR affiliate in Orlando. He's also a former newspaper reporter and editor. To announce the winners in the category of news feature and news show, please welcome Joe and Laura Burns. Breaking news, it's everywhere. We live our lives with one eye on the banner across the bottom of the TV screen or on our phone's news app. We depend on reporters working in Washington, the beaches of Florida, and even the Middle East to bear the brunt of reality and bring the world events into our living rooms. Even right here in Marion County Schools, our students are learning the importance of the role of journalists, broadcasting daily their school's news and learning the importance of being fair, thorough, accurate, and unbiased. Here are, here are this year's finalists in the grades K through two division in the category of news feature. Taking third place is MSA Resolutions, Madison Street Academy of Visual and Performing Arts. Here at MSA, we made resolutions for 2024. A resolution is a promise or a goal you make to yourself. Taking second place is Johnny Appleseed Day, Stanton Weirsdale Elementary School. Johnny Appleseed Day. On September 27th, kindergarten. And the winner in the grades K through two division in the category of news feature is Pumpkin Investigation, Stanton Weirsdale Elementary School. On October 25th, in the garden students, in the grades three through five division in the category of news feature, taking third place is 21st Century at Stanton Weirsdale, Stanton Weirsdale Elementary School. Did you ever wonder what 21st Century Club was? Taking second place is our school soccer team, Stanton Weirsdale Elementary School. On November 17, 2023, students from Stanton Weirsdale Elementary School went to... And the winner in the 
grades three through five division in the category of news feature is MSA celebrates MLK, Madison Street Academy of Visual and Performing Arts. Hello, I'm Audrey Lorick here for WMSA Today, and this is what MSA did to celebrate Dr. Martin Luther Let's take a look at our program's second iteration of news, the News Show. News shows are most schools' primary vehicle for delivering important school information like sports scores, club meetings, what's on today's lunch menu, and class activities. Here are this year's finalists. In the grades K through 2 division, oh, got to you. Oh, no, this is for me. In the category of news shows, taking third place is Jungle Spa News Show, Madison Street Academy and Visual of Performing Arts. Hi, my name is Brayden, and I am Gio. The date... Taking second place is Safari News Show, Madison Street Academy of Visual and Performing Arts. I'm sensing a theme. And the winner in the grades K through two division in the category of news show is Kindergarten Roundup, Stanton Weirsdale Elementary School. Good morning, kindergarten. It's time for the Kindergarten Roundup. Cowboy Luke, and I'm the grades three through five division in the category of news show, taking third place is What's Up Today, Madison Street Academy of Visual and Performing Arts. Good morning, MSA audience. I'm your host, Ariana Frazier, and today we have three fine contestants competing for the grand prize of $10,000. First is Max. Now, Max, where are you from? I'm from Destin, Florida. Okay, and Olivia, where are you from? Fresno, California. And contestant three is Scarlett. Where are you from? Brooklyn, New York. Okay. And this is What's Up Today. The first question is, the date is? Next. Yes. I was about to say on behalf of the Academy, we accept the award but they're here. At second place news show, third through fifth, WSOE news show, South Ocala Elementary School. And the winner in the grades three through five division in the category of news show is SHE -E News, Shady Hill Elementary School. I'm Andy. And I'm Layton reporting from SHE News. Just this morning, Faven.
Congratulations, Congratulations students. students. Well, I definitely appreciate those aspiring journalists who share important information with students during morning show announcements. It's kind of like doing the news on the radio. Hmm. Anyhow, moving on, let's meet our next presenters. She serves as the second in command of Marion County Public Schools as deputy superintendent and recently accelerated her learning by earning her doctorate degree in educational leadership. Her co-presenter has worked for Marion County Public Schools for 32 years and has risen through the ranks to become the chief financial officer, leading a near billion dollar budget. To announce the winners in the categories of public service announcement and public service video, please welcome Dr. Marguerite Talbert Irving and Teresa Boston Ellis. Do your homework, mind your manners, tell the truth. No Snapchat at the dinner table. Most parents give a lot of advice, hoping their children choose a positive path in life. <laughs> and of all the genres of videos, we're recognizing tonight the public service announcement, or PSA, is most like mom, dad, or your teachers appealing to your conscience in the hope that you'll do the right thing. Here are this year's finalists. In the grades K-2 division in the category of PSA, taking third place is Donate Toys to Kids in Need, Madison Street Academy of Visual and Performing Arts. Taking second place is Reading is Cool, Stanton Weirsdale Elementary School. Reading is Cool. All the cool kids are. And the winner in the grades K through two division in the category of PSA is, come on down to kindergarten, Stanton Weirsdale Elementary School. Come on, come on down, down to kindergarten. kindergarten. Kindergarten is so much fun. In the grades three through five division in the category of PSA, taking third place is Do You Recycle Stanton Weirsdale Elementary School? Dude, are you serious? Pick that up! Well Taking second place is Save the Sharks, Madison Street Academy of Visual and Performing Arts. Hi, my name is Lucy, and I want to talk to you about a very big problem. Problem is, sharks like me are dying. And the winner of the grades three through five division in the category of PSA is Know the Signs, Shady Hill Elementary School. Sometimes a public service announcement 
needs a little more breathing room than a 60-second time limit allows. Public service videos run anywhere from 61 seconds to 7 minutes and share the same genetic code as PSAs. They're meant to bring about positive change in the community. Here are this year's finalists. In the grades K-2 division, in the category of public service video, taking third place is our class is a family, Stanton Weirsdale Elementary School. Taking second place is Don't Get Scammed, Madison Street Academy of Visual and Performing Arts. Hey kids, here are five tips to remember some. And the winner in the K-2 division in the category of public service video is Dangers of Texting and Driving, Shady Hill Elementary. Texting while driving in the school line is very dangerous. <laughs> Switching like grade levels here. Mm -hmm. Switching grade levels. Okay, in the grades three through five division, in the category of public service video, taking third place, stop texting and driving, Madison Street Academy of Visual and Performing Arts. Taking second place is Cafeteria Expectations, Shady Hill Elementary. The job of the cafeteria monitor is already hard enough. And the winner of the grades three through five division in the category of public service video is I Can Be Kind, Stanton Weirsdale Elementary School. We can be kind. I can be a good listener. Congratulations, students. What amazing work from all of our students. Now, 
we move on to a very special award this evening presented by a retired educator who worked in Marion County School Libraries for decades. She is the brainchild of this festival who had the vision 23 years ago to recognize video production students for their amazing work. She's the reason we're all here tonight. She also knew the amazing lady for whom our next award was named and worked with her personally in the early years of this festival. We're honored to have her here tonight. Please welcome Miriam Needham. Terry Hartley was one of the original members of the Marion County Student Mesti uh, Media Festival Organizing Committee and spent countless hours of time and effort to ensure everything was perfect. That's just who she was. And if you knew her, you, knew, you know this to be true. Terry was my professional colleague. She was my coworker. And Terry, most importantly, was my friend. She lost her battle with cancer nine years ago, but her legacy lives on in the students who participate in this event. Theme stands for Terry Hartley Effort in Media Education. Every year, judges select one festival entry that best captures Terry's affectionate faith in the ability of our students. That was her most, her, her, her constant thought, is it for the students. It's my honor to present the 2023 Terry Hartley Effort in Media Education Theme Award to Anthony Elementary School Be good for the video Night Owl. Owl had one wish to be a knight, but nobody thought he could do it, and all his friends laughed at him. He applied to night school and was surprised he was accepted. It was hard, but he did it, and he was assigned of night watch. Owl didn't mind staying up at night. Night Owl brings, builds strength and confidence in this medieval tale. Congratulations to all of our students. Now we come to the part of our show where we honor the best of the best. So let's meet our presenters for best of show. She's a former school principal in Orange County who climbed the ladder to deputy superintendent of schools in Las Vegas. She now serves as our school district's top educator and superintendent of schools. Her presenting partner directs the Public Education Foundation of Marion County, recognizing teachers for their hard work and finding mentors for students in, this, in the Take Stock and Children program, along with school business partners, orchestrating the Tools for Teaching store, and so much more. They are both here to present this year's Best of Show winners. Let's welcome Superintendent Dr. Diane Gullett and Megan Magamal. Good evening, everyone. Before we get to the best of show, we're going to have a drawing, I hear. Here it comes, here comes the basket. So, Ms. Magamal will be drawing from the basket the name of a school that entered into tonight's video competition. That school will walk away with a brand new light kit. That's very exciting. Ooh, I heard that. If your school's name is called, we'd like either the principal or the video production teacher to come forward and claim this amazing prize. There we go. Dr. Gullett. Stir a little bit. Don't look. Okay, Don't looking. look, Ms. Megamom. Okay. Ooh, Ooh, got one. Okay, are we ready? The winner is 
Here we go, Anthony, Anthony Elementary School. Oh, is that actually the kit? Oh, we're actually going to give the kit. Okay. <laughs> you have this? I've got it. Okay. Come Yay. Yay. Come forward. Yay. Congratulations, that's exciting. So now we're going to move on to the best of show what we've been waiting for. Thank you so much. Marion County's elementary students entered 111 videos for tonight's competition. The very best of these videos were evaluated by a panel of judges that excel in their craft. Script writing, video production, and videographers, all who are looking for the best of the best. They were tasked with choosing just one entry from the K-2 division and one from the 3-5 division that stood out above the rest, regardless of the category. Best of Show winners will receive a Best of Show trophy. Ooh, look at the color. It's beautiful. Beautiful color. Bragging rights, of course. And a, get this, a check for $500. Ooh. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Careful with that check. We have, yes. <laughs> now, I know that we told you at the top of the program not to stand over there and, and come across, but we want you to watch the entire video as we're going to show now for the best of show. And here we go. I think we're going to do this. And that is the story of the two magical elves. Okay, guys, go ahead back to your seats. I wonder. They're still watching. doorbell going off. That's weird. turned green. Where did all that mess come from? Whoa! Were, were you, you thinking what I was thinking? The best of show. Oh, they have us off. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll try it again. The best of show winner in the K through two division is Holly and Jolly Stanton Weirsdale Elementary School. Is that all of this? All of this? Too? Yeah. Okay. 
And now, in the grades three through five division, the best of show winner is Lost Eye Thames from Shady Hill Elementary School. It would be so nice to be needed and used and not left behind. At least I'm not getting dropped on the hard ground. It's been cold outside lately and I have no hands to warm. But on the bright side, I'm not picking boogers. I know my person's hair is tangled. Who's getting all the tangles out? Can you even imagine the gum and bugs stuck in there? Ew! With today's skyrocketing prices, our people don't have a use for us because they can't afford to buy anything. Might as well join I guess to a thrift store. They can't even pay attention. We can't see! We can't see! And neither can our people. We miss the view of the classroom. My person has a hard time getting to places on time with me. I guess they don't care because I'm in a bin, not on their wrist. I'm putting myself in the bin because my teacher is always losing me. Jeez! You think you have it bad? I get left behind outside, get rained on, stepped on, and tossed around only to end up in a pile of other forgotten garments. I then end up on a clothes rack to be forgotten forever. I've even seen my friends run over by a lawnmower. These aren't the only lost and lonely items. If you're missing an item, please come and check the lost and found. Your items miss you and want to go home. Yay, I found my glasses! I can see now! Thanks to the morning show. Congratulations, Congratulations students. students. Thank you. Please join me again in applause for these students' excellent work. Come on. We would like to thank all those who made the 23rd Annual Marion County Student Media Festival a reality. The Robert Boisenot Oncology Institute, which established an endowment to fund future festivals the Public Education Foundation of Marion County, Cox Communications, and Foliage Design Systems of Ocala. Let's hear it for all of our sponsors. Now, before we turn our attention to the middle and high schools, we're gonna take a 20 minute intermission. For those of you watching from home, we're going to share with you the best of show winners from previous festivals and the winning entry in the Ocala Film Derby, a timed competition between teams of local video production students. We will continue with the presentation for middle and high school students in just a few minutes, so we'll see you shortly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. <for> coming. Thank you. <laughs> uh, funny how none of it, there was a press release. Boo! Ah! Ah! Is this the Sunrise Good Morning Show? Am I in the 
scary place? Yes, it is. Why are you pretending to be a ghost? I'm not pretending to be a ghost. I am one. I thought ghosts were mean. I'm not mean, but I'm here to remind everyone that Safe Halloween in the Fall Carnival is October 28th from 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. What are some games at the carnival? Some games at the Fall Carnival are the Rim Toss, Cornhole, Bowling, the Lollipop Bowl, and many more. What is a Lollipop Bowl? Yeah, I never heard of a Lollipop Bowl. Let's head over to Aviana and Samantha to get more information. Hi, Samantha. Do you need help? Oh, hi, Aviana. Yes, I do need help. I was trying to color the ends of all of these lollipops. For what? For the lollipop bowl. How do you play that game? First, you grab a lollipop. Then, if it has a dot at the end of the stick, you can get a prize. But if it doesn't, you at least keep the lollipop. So you're basically just trying to get the lollipop with the dot at the end? Yeah, pretty much. That sounds really cool. Can I try? Yeah, just stand right here behind this line. Nice. Now just grab a lollipop from this tree. Hooray! You got a lot. You got the lollipop with the dot. Now let's go get your prize. Oh, now I understand it. It looks like so much fun. Trust me, it is. Let's head over to Angelina for the Pledge of Allegiance and the Big Three. Hi, Sunrise. My name is Angelina. And now it's time for the Pledge of Allegiance and the Big Three. When I say salute, put your right hand on your heart. Salute. I pledge the allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Sunrise Big Three. Do what's right, do your best, and treat others the way you want to be treated. You may be seated. Remember to have a super spooky Halloween. <laughs> what's that noise? Let's go back to the anchors. Thanks, Angelina, for doing the pledge and the victory. And thank you to all the students that brought candy for the candy war. We got a lot of candy this year. Don't forget that the Sunrise Dance Team will be dancing later today in the courtyard. And now for an interview with our dance teachers. Hi, my name is Valeria. This is Miss Newman, she's one of our Sunrise Dance Team teachers. I'm going to be asking her some dance questions. So the first question is, when did, you, when did you start the dance team? Mrs. DeMombran and I started the dance team in 2015. That's a very long time. Where do you get your dance ideas from? Mostly I get them from classes I've taken or dances I've done or things I see on the internet or in movies, TV, all over the place. That's There's Ideas cool. everywhere. The next question is, how hard is it to teach dance moves to your students? This group is very quick this year. They pick up things very quickly. Probably they're spending a lot of time on TikTok learning dances or YouTube and learning them themselves. But um, most of the groups pick them up very quickly, Wow. the dances. Next question is, how hard is it to teach dance moves to your students? Well, the dancing that we do, most of our dancers do not have not had formal dance training before. So sometimes we have to spend some time getting them caught up on the technique that they need to do the dance moves. It's different than just copying them off of what they see because there's technique behind it and a lot of our dancers haven't had that. So sometimes that's hard. It takes a while to get caught up to that part, but they all catch on pretty quickly oh, and wow. work hard. How good do the students do on the dance moves? They're very good at them. We've had been lucky to have really great dance team members year after year. We have great people who try out and a great team. Well, that's cool. How many performances do students have each year? We have a couple parades that we're in, and then we probably do about 10 different performances at school for the parents and the students, and then in the community also. That's a lot of performances. What do you like best about teaching dance? I like teaching dance because I like to dance, and so it helps me be able to still dance even though I'm not going to classes myself. 
but I also like to hopefully spark an interest in dance to, for the students so that maybe they'll continue on and find a love for it like I did. Wow. Miss Newman, thank you for joining us at this interview. Well, thank you for having me and thank you for your interest in the dance team. Thanks for watching the Sun Sunrise Dance Team interview. Now back to Amara and Josiah. I would not miss the dance show for my life, but I don't have a life because I'm a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's getting a little scary in here. Yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, well, remember to have a spooky Halloween. Imagine aliens land on our campus. If they walked into one of our bathrooms, what would they think of us? That we are nasty, dirty, filthy, that we're unkind and write cruel things about each other, that we're bullies with hate in our hearts. Is this the impression we would like to make? Take pride in our campus and have pride in yourself. Good afternoon, it's Friday, January 13th, 2023. It's a hot topic across America, school violence and student mental health. Today I sat down with students and a stand with Parkland advocate to find a solution to this growing problem. And today in sports, we've taken a look at an athlete who is crossing the cultural divide. And tonight will be a great night for indoor sports. We'll tell you more coming up. These stories and more, Storm Surge starts now. Last year, there were 51 shootings that resulted in injury or death in American schools. Earlier this week, I sat down with multiple students and a school safety advocate who all say students are feeling that the classroom is no longer a place for learning. Upset. Frustrated, maybe? It's not shocking, but it's also disappointing because not only does it lower the school's morale and respect, it also reflects the students' characters and how they act and how we should treat them. And it's really sad that kids can't get their education peacefully without having to worry about active shooters and just all sorts of things now. While students feel uneasy, there are changes that are being made. Pragmatic changes that we can make to policy and or law on all levels of government, local, state, and federal. Um, we've passed uh, about six laws in the last five years here in Florida relating to school safety, firearms, and uh, mental health. As laws are changing the culture of school safety, students say there's a simple fix. And instead of getting, you know, a little bit washed up in their own mental things that they seek violence, they could have an active support system that helps them think through those things. Students, children, they learn from their families, they learn from their uh, parents how to act, how to treat people, and it's not so much as administration or the school's fault for how they react to a child's behavior. It's almost a common ground of how a child is raised up and how they treat everybody else around them. Mental health is the problem, but sometimes it's as simple as being vigilant. So uh, please take your safety seriously and uh, report the things you see or hear. Students feel empowered. 
it takes a crowd to be vocal about it and to speak on this. The best way to protect ourselves is to protect each other first. These students are not alone. Students and parents across the nation are asking that if you see something or hear something, that you say something. Here in Florida, you can use the Fortify Florida app at getfortifyfl.com. Seniors, do you need more college money for books, tuition, food, and rent? Scholarship opportunities and requirements for each scholarship have been sent to your email. Take some time, get some cash, read them today. Petition class of 2023, your book ads have been extended until January 15th. Do not let this opportunity slip by. Make sure to visit yourbookordercenter.com to complete today. Remember, that is this Sunday. It's a trip over 4,600 miles across the Atlantic Ocean. Foreign exchange student and soccer player Isaac Rasmussen came to Ocala hoping to bridge the differences to American culture. It's a journey that Isaac Rasmussen set out on to learn that American culture, English, was not an obstacle. Basically everybody in, in Denmark is fluent in English to some degree. Maybe the accent might be a bit weird and a bit confusing at start because it sounds like you got a big potato in your throat. The journey here? My, my entire like start journey was a bit messed up because I, I didn't get my visa in time so I was stressing a bit. Um, luckily I got in, got it uh, within a do, uh, doable time so I still made it. While here and at home, soccer though different in each place still has a place in his heart. Different. Turns out they're not as, despite them having football, it's not quite as, as, as physical as uh, soccer over here. Um, I don't mind it since I'm a physical player, so I, I'll be dominating a bit more, but definitely, definitely a shock. Just like this nation, uh, we have different cultures in different areas. So yeah, it's fun watching him. Uh, he brings in the fact that he's a weightlifter, and that's the first time we've ever had a weightlifter. As an international student host, it's all about adapting. Uh, it's a learning experience for both as they adapt to the American culture and uh, we adapt to their habits. Uh, so it, you know, it's an adaptation. Uh, well, uh, we're a soccer family. We've been involved in soccer for 30 years. So that's one of the requirements is that they play soccer so they can, we have something common to talk about within the family. A family that will bridge the differences in culture between their homeland and America. I'm still looking forward to exploring more of, of the country, of, of the nature. I, uh, I've been very busy lately, so I haven't really had the time to explore all that much. But I, I hope I'll get the time at some point to, to go out, see what America also has to offer. Isaac will return to Denmark at the end of this semester. Any students who are interested in trying out for the baseball team need to see Coach Wisdom in Building 1, Room 23, to confirm that all paperwork has been turned in and is correct. Conditioning for the season is underway and is Monday through Friday from 4 to 6 p.m. Trials are Monday, January 23rd at the school at the baseball field. And conditioning for the upcoming beach volleyball season starts on Tuesday, the 17th at Jervy Gant from 4.45 to 5.45. Trials are February 6th. See Coach Wisdom for more information. Kai, Dom, and a great job for our student television club for getting us such a great package. Thanks, Cleo. Dom, it's going to be colder on the lake side than in Denmark this weekend. That's right, Kai. It's pretty cloudy out there right now. Let's take a look at our weather stem cloud cam. After this thick layer of clouds move out, the temperature will not get any warmer. Today we've seen our high of 64 and we will see a low of 34. There will be a slight chance of rain this weekend, but after that the temperatures will be remaining the same. For over the next three days, the temperatures will be getting a high of 60 with a low of 30. For the extended forecast, it will be heating up throughout the week until Tuesday where rain moves in. That's all for this week's show. Remember to show your Lakeside pride by remembering you have purpose. Be respectful, get involved in your classes. Show others that you're dependable and always pursue excellence in everything you do. On behalf of Khalil, Dominic, and our entire Storm Series crew, thanks for watching and have a great day. Welcome back to the 23rd Annual Marion County Student Media Festival. In this second half of the program, we are going to recognize finalists from middle and high schools in the categories of advertisement, animation, book trailer, comedy, documentary, drama, instructional, music video, news feature, news show, public service announcement, and public service video. 
Before we proceed, let's take a moment to talk again about timing and stage direction. Students, when your video is announced, please make your way to the stage quickly over here. You prompted when to cross the stage. Once you're up here, please do not stop. Please do not watch your video. Walk immediately to the center stage to receive your awards and then carefully step down the stairs at stage left to return to your seat. Let's meet our first presenters. She's the Development and Community Outreach Director at the Institute for Human and Machine Cognition here in Ocala. She's also the creator of the Ocala Film Derby involving some of the students here tonight. He is one of our own homegrown presenters. He graduated from Westport High School and joined the Marion County Public Schools in 2021. Now serves for Communications Manager for Marion County Public Schools and teaches college students at the University of Florida. To announce the winners in the categories of advertisement and animation, please welcome Lori Zink and Greg Davis. Thank you so much, Kathy. And uh, we keep mentioning the Ocala Film Derby, and I know I, there's some people in the room here that have participated and been involved, and we so appreciate you. The Film Derby is a actually two and a half day, three day, fast paced, real world experience where you work with industry professionals and mentors. It provides workshops, keynote speakers, and a race to the finish. You have a filmmaking competition where every second counts. And this year, we are off to the races on September 18th through the 20th with the awards being on the 22nd. So I really hope to see all y'all there. It's a fabulous opportunity for your students. So thank you very much. Speaking of uh, seconds counting, one Mississippi. That second during <laughs> Super Bowl 58 would have cost advertisers just over $233,333. Oh my gosh. Well, these campaigns sell everything from body wash to fast food. So let's again do our little game. We give the most popular ad campaigns and see what has stuck with you. So, like a good neighbor. Yeah. Angie will be happy about that. Okay, every kiss begins with? Yeah, Y'all are great. Oh, oh, O'Reilly's. All right, <laughs> so let's see how our students' messages stuck with the judges. Okay. All right, so we do not have a third or second place to all our viewers at home. This is why you should always submit. Uh, but the winner taking first place of the grades six through eight division in the category of advertisement is I want a yearbook, Danella Middle School. Hey, baby, do you have a boyfriend? No, but I sure want one. What are you going to give me first? How about some chocolates? <gasps> oh, my gosh. In the grades 9 through 12 division in the category of advertisement. <laughs> Take, I thought they went that way. Hey, no, he, he's like, I'm getting <laughs> my hi, moment. Grab your certificate. Okay. <laughs> All right, in the grades 9 through 12 division in the category of advertisement. Taking third place. Pretty Tony's Tasty Barbecue, Lake Weir High School. Good job, man. Taking second place, Sprinkles, Lake Weir High School.
And the winner of grades 9 through 12 division in the category of advertisement is... Welcome home, Colts, North Marion High School. <laughs> Welcome to the North Side, home of the Colts, Garnet, and Gold. This is North Marion High School. Did you know that North Marion High School is completely Cambridge? North Marion is the only school in the county offering Cambridge curriculum to... I heard him. Okay. He'll be back. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. Just as a mason builds a home one brick at a time, our award-winning animators have painstakingly built their videos one frame at a time. They breathe life into what was once just a vision, giving you, the viewer, a front row seat to their imagination. In the grades six to eight division in the category of animation, there were no winning videos, so we will move on. <laughs> in the grades 9 to 12 division in the category of animation, taking second place is the new space race, Lake Weir High School. A new space race has emerged, revitalizing the technological competition between countries. It is widely known that the space race was a battle between the U.S. and the Soviet Union to achieve superior space flight. The space race was believed Can to someone be from Lake Weir come up and space grab that for him? On the moon, which caused a nationwide celebration. Yeah. The original countries, the U.S. and the Soviet Union, or Russia, renewed their rivalry as they rushed to the south poles of the moon. Cool shoes. Okay. And so the winner of the grades 9 through 12 division in the category of animation is Spooky Boo Forest High School. Congratulations, y'all. Great job. Congratulations to all in animation. Well, let's meet our next presenters. She's a children's author and former radio host who always supports Marion County Public Schools. She's now retired but doesn't sit still for long. Her co-presenter and professional career partner is a fellow radio DJ and a gentle giant, along with being a gifted artist who illustrates children's books when he's not playing the accordion. To announce the winners in the categories of book trailer and comedy, please welcome Robin McBlain and Larry Whitler. <laughs> Wow, this is so exciting. <laughs> For the category of book trailer, students were asked to produce videos that resemble the typical movie preview. But rather than pulling students toward the box office, these videos push viewers to that more venerable vehicle of good storytelling, which is a book. <laughs> it's wonderful, too. Books are great. Students could promote an actual book with the publisher's permission or could create their own book to preview. Either way, it was the job of the producers to sound the literary siren song for potential readers to push the first domino in a journey that ends and begins at a local library. All right. Switch places, lady. Here we go. Uh, here are this year's finalists in the grades 6 through 8 division in the category of book trailer. Taking third place is Monster Missions, Horizon Academy at Marion Oaks. <laughs> Thank you. 
taking second place for the book trailer, uh, sixth through eighth division, 96 miles, Denellen Middle School. Dad left on a business trip. All was fine until the power went out. The people needed food. Good job is right. And the winner of the grade six through eight division in the category of book trailer, Hushabai, Donnellan Middle School. It's never easy being the poor girl. My sister loves to collect stuff, maybe to escape reality. There's something about this story. Next in the grades 9 through 12 division in the category of book trailer, taking second place, I Must Betray You, Lake Weir High School. Pretty dress, huh? Beautiful. All right. Whoa, uh -oh. oh, you okay? Uh oh, you're right. There she goes. Wow. All right, and the winner of the grades nine through twelve division in the category of book trailer is the Bone House Forest High School. Ren is a grave digger in a village that comes with additional responsibilities. The so-called bone house rise in the nearby forest and need to be taken apart and burned. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, but we do live in a stressed out world. People are working harder at work and at home, juggling responsibilities while writing and rewriting to-do lists. Some days feel more like a tornado of requirements that just spit you out at the end of the day, used up, frazzled, and completely spent. Whoa, that is pretty depressing, Robin. Mm -hmm. Pretty depressing. But you know what? All that stress means that it's a more important than ever to make people laugh. <laughs> Fortunately, tonight's finalists in the category of comedy have kindly supplied the most magical of medicines, which is laughter. <laughs> Thank you. In second place in the comedy division, grades six through eight, is Always Check the Busboard, Donnellan Middle School. Yay! <laughs> It was so insane. Like, it just looks like. Thank you so much. Oops. Good job. <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> Sorry. And the winner of the grade six through eight division in the category of comedy is. Cough Guy, Donella Middle School. In the grades 9 through 12 division in the category of comedy, taking third place is Spam Likely Westport High School. <laughs> Hey, 
I love my friend and my monitor. <laughs> Oh, I know. All of these students work really hard. You all are so amazing. Taking second place in comedy, ninth through twelfth grades, is The Closet, North Marion High School. And the winner of the grades 9 through 12 division in the category of comedy is Rags to Riches Forest High School. Woo! I'm here. You're probably wondering how I got here right now. Well, it all started when I heard that my grandfather had passed. I never really liked my grandfather. Well, until now. <laughs> Your hard work makes us proud. Thank you for doing that. Keep up the good work. Congratulations. Well, now, I hope everybody's having a great time. You're having a great time, right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, they're doing awesome. Everybody is amazing. Let's meet our next presenters. Now, she's a longtime supporter of this festival, both as a judge and a sponsor. Thanks to her leadership and strong experience with one of tonight's sponsors, Cox Communications. Her co-presenter teaches geometry at Forest High School, but more incredibly, is Marion County's 2024 Teacher of the Year. To announce the winners in the categories of documentary and drama, please welcome to the stage Devin Chestnut and Jen. Jennifer Brown. Whether we like what we see or not, most of us look in a mirror every day. Knowledge is power, and there may be, be more, no, more important knowledge than self-knowledge. But it's also important that society looks itself in the mirror, and documentaries give us an honest look at where we are and who we are. Whether we're examining the dangers of climate change, tagging along on a trip down the Silver River, or revisiting the brilliance of Mark Twain, a documentary documents reality through a lens but without a filter. Taking first place, the winner of the grades six through eight division in the category of documentary is Theodore Roosevelt and the Medal of Honor, Denellen Middle School. Theodore Roosevelt, the 26th president, was a man of adventure. In the grades 9 through 12 division in the category of documentary, taking second place is Bethany Crawford, Forest High School. Okay, so can you share like your breast cancer diagnosis story with me? Sure, sure. Um, so I was uh, third. And the winner of the grades 9 through 12 division in the category of documentary is the military, North Marion High School. We're having an Amber Alert right now. It's an attack. Our lives are drama. When we were 16 and we finally mustered the nerve to ask out that guy or girl in the front row of the class, that's drama. 
When we were finally able to hold our newborn child, that's drama. And ripping our pants in front of the class, that's also drama. Fact or fiction, fantasy or mystery, syrupy or sardonic, allegorical or historical. Drama draws us into its plot, conflict, and characters, helping us examine and understand our world and ourselves, hoping we'll find meaning in both. Here are this year's finalists in the grade six through eight division of the category of drama, taking third place. is Miss Fortune, Danella Middle School. Oh my God, look what I have. Isn't it cool? Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, that's so cool. I wonder if it works, like if it actually predicts the future. Oh my God, that's so cool. I know, right? Oh, I see my friends over there. I'm gonna go say hi to them. All right. Taking second place. In the dark, Danella Middle School. And the winner of the grades six through eight division in the category of drama is The Setup, Danella Middle School. Hey, if you don't get your grades up, you're off the team. I'm the captain, you can't kick me off the team. Get your act together or I'm kicking you off the team. Okay, yes sir. Next in the grades 9 through 12 division in the category of drama, taking third place is The Disappearance, Lake Ware High School. And taking second place is Wish I Felt Like This 24-7 by Bellevue High School. Shaky legs, wet sleeves and headaches. And then there's me. And the winner of the 9 through 12 division in the category of drama is The Loop Forest High School. Some congratulations, students. Our next presenters are on deck and ready, so let's meet them. She's done morning shows on Wind FM for 25 years and is the program director of that same station. She volunteers with her dog, Benny, visiting nursing homes for belly rubs. Benny, not her. In her spare time, she likes to read, garden, and go to the beach. Meantime, her co-presenter rose through the ranks of Marion County Public Schools and most recently served as principal at North Marion High School. Now she oversees secondary curriculum for the entire district. To announce the winners in the categories of instructional and music video, please welcome my co-worker Hunter from Wind FM and Dr. Danielle Livinggood. You're doing a great job, Kathy. Good job. <laughs> so how to fry an egg, how to play a video game, 
how to replace your harmonica balancer, because mine's really out of balance. And all these are all great things to know. YouTube seemingly endless stacks of how-to videos speak to the power of video in teaching a task. Our finalists tonight have added their own lessons to this most practical of genres. Here are this year's finalists in the grades six through eight division in the category of instructional. Taking third place is Date Manners, Dunellen Middle School. Are you Jason? No, I'm Jamie. And taking second place, Origami Stars, Dunellen Middle School. And the winner of the grades six through eight division in the category of instructional is how to walk through the front office, Dunedin Middle School. Good afternoon, it's a great day at Dunedin Middle School. How can I help you? It's a typical day. I Next, in the grades 9 through 12 division, in the category of instructional, taking third place is How to Survive High School, Bellevue High School. Trust me, high school is rough, physically and mentally. But if you just listen to these few little steps that I wish I knew, trust me, it will go by way Taking second place is Tube Light, North Marion High School. The Tube Light, it has 16 million. Thank you. And the winner of the grades 9 through 12, division in the category of instructional is Making Breakfast, Forest High School. Through the years, music videos have been a creative outlet for accomplished directors, cinematographers, animators, and special effect artists. Even though music videos are brief, producing one is a daunting and a rewarding challenge. There are no third or second place finishers, first grade six through eight, so the winner of grades six through eight division in the category of music video is Be My Valentine, Danella Middle School.
in the grades 9 through 12 division in the category of music video, taking third place is Why Are You Still Here? Westport High School. Taking second place is World Equestrian Center Christmas, Lake Ware High School. In the grades 9-12 division in the category of music video, the winner of grades 9-12 division in the category of music video, said that twice, is Now That I've Found You, Lakeware High School. <laughs> Congratulations, students. Now, regarding our next presenters, she is a former newspaper reporter with the Ocala Star Banner who is now accredited in public relations and counsels others in PR matters at Career Source Citrus Levy Marion. Her husband, also her co presenter tonight, uses words and audio to make a living as a reporter with Central Florida Public Media, an NPR affiliate in Orlando. He's also a former newspaper reporter and editor. To announce the winners in the categories of news feature and news show, please welcome Joe and Laura Burns. If a teenager in Finland broke the world record last night by having a TikTok live that lasted 625 hours, how do you think he would find, about, find out about that today? You'd find out about it in the news. News reporters connect us to what's happening in the world. And the following finalists in the category of news didn't skimp on the most important part of the news song and dance, the choreography. Uh, I don't know about <laughs> Here that. are this year's finalists. In the grades 6th to 8th division in the category of news feature, taking third place is... Wagwa Prof. Priscandaro, Osceola Middle School. Okay, that much Hope I got that right. Good morning, Osceola Chiefs, and welcome back to another edition of Where in the World is Profe? So this month, we traveled to Jamaica, so if you guessed that country, congratulations. And I've brought along my friend, Ms. Smith-White, who teaches language arts and social studies here at Osceola Middle School. So Ms. Smith-White, will you please tell us a little bit about Jamaica? Wagwan Osceola Middle School. Jamaica is the third largest Caribbean island. One we will accept this award on their behalf. On their behalf. Thank you. Always wanted this. Taking second place is celebrity chef at DMS, Dunellen Middle School. Awesome. You're gonna pick it up with your hand. And you're gonna drop it. At only 28 years old, Johan Liebeskand has been named one of the. And the winner 
of the grades six to eight division in the category of news feature is the first, first Thanksgiving, Dunellen Middle School. Our traditional view of the first Thanksgiving goes back to the fall of 1621, as the Mayflower pilgrims and Native Americans gathered Next, in the grades 9 to 12 division in the category of news feature, taking third place is Remembering the 1%, Lake Weir High School. On November 11th, 1947, America started to celebrate what we know today Taking second place is Basket Weaving, Forest High School. Hey Wildcats, I'm Sam Anderson here at the Fort King Historical Center. Today they had a basket weaving class. People of our community came together to learn how to basket weave to incorporate and recognize important historical practices here in Ocala. And the winner of the grades 9 to 12 division in the category of news feature is Artificially Intelligent Lake Weir High School. With new technology being at our everyday fingertips, AI has become a look at our program's second category of news, the news show. News shows are most schools' primary vehicle for sharing important school information like sports scores, club meetings, class activities, and much more. Here are this year's finalists. There is no third or second place finisher, so the winner of the grades six through eight division in the category of news show is Morning Madness, Morning Madness, Spirit Week, Danellen Middle School. Our amazing basketball teams and teachers breaking the dress code. All that and more on today's Morning Madness. Grades 9 through 12 division in the category of news show, taking third place is Storm Surge Lake Weir High School. It's Friday, January 12th, 2024. We're halfway into National Human Trafficking Awareness Month, and we set out to find how human trafficking impacts our. Taking second place is, oh my goodness gracious, Storm Surge AI, Lake Weir High School. Today on Storm Surge, while the future with AI may seem uncharted, we do know for certain that AI is here and now. Get pumped, strap. I have a feeling we're going to see them come back because the winner is 
Storm Surge Holidays in the Horse Capital, Lakeware High School. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And Storm Surge reporters have said. Congratulations, Congratulations students. students. Awesome. Up next in our program this evening, she's an accomplished educational leader and pianist who serves as the Senior Executive Director of the Student Pathways for Marion County Public Schools. He's a star on the Food Network, and he's won multiple national barbecue competitions. He's also homegrown, having graduated from Lake Weir High School, and is the founder and pitmaster of Big Lee's Barbecue. To present winners in the categories of public service announcement and public service video, please welcome Dr. Annie, Annie Hembrook and Rashad Jones. Wash your hands, drive safely, clean up your room, let your brother out of that headlock. Most parents give a lot of advice hoping their children choose a positive path in life. And of all the genres of videos we're recognizing tonight, the Public Service Announcement, or PSA, is most like mom and dad, appealing to our conscience and hoping we'll do the right thing. Here are this year's finalists in the grade six through eight division in the category of PSA, taking third place is Trafficking, Osceola Middle School. Hey, look at this. <laughs> That's so funny. Hey, I'm going to use the bathroom. We're going to accept okay. this award okay. on their behalf. Taking second place is Friend or Phone, Danellen Middle School. I can be a friend. I can write your essay. You don't need to do your homework. I can do it for you. You don't need friends. Are you feeling a little anxious? And the winner of grades six through eight division in the category of PSA is Ugly Words, Danellen Middle School. I was told that I was ugly. A freak. Stupid. Fat. A nobody. And in grades 9 through 12, division in the category of PSA, taking third place is, there is a tie. <laughs> and the winner is 988 PSA Forest High School. Suicide is one of the leading causes of death in the U.S. There was a record high of nearly 50,000 in 2022, averaging over 135 suicides per day. Nearly 20% of high school students report serious suicide. Bellevue High School. All right, good answer. Uh, Sarah. 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 Taking second place is Lock your doors, Lake Weir High School. <laughs> and 
And the winner of grades 9 through 12 division in the category of PSA is the new 988 Forest High School. service announcement's 60-second time limit proves to be just too confining for a message to be fully actualized. That's why we created the category of public service video. That's right. Public service videos run anywhere from 61 seconds to 7 minutes, and they share the same genetic material as PSAs. They're meant to help the viewer make informed, intelligent decisions. Here are this year's finalists. In the grade six through eight division in the category of public service video, taking third place is... Don't Hit the Vape, Donellan Middle School. You got some acetone? That's the stuff in the alpha movie. Bugs? Taking second place is Stay Tough, Don't Puff, Osceola Middle School. Can I go to the bathroom? I'll be right back. Okay, I'll go with you. Can we go to the bathroom? We'll accept on their behalf. And the winner of the grade six through eight division in the category of public service video is be kind, Donellan Middle School. Hey. So I heard you were talking about me. What are you even talking about? I heard from multiple people that you were. So I don't even know what you're talking about. Well, yes, you are, because I heard from multiple people that you are. Bro, I wasn't even talking about you. Yes, you are. And in the grades 9 through 12th division, in the category of public service video, taking third place is You Belong, Bellevue High School. <laughs> Taking second place is Stop Jewish Hate, Forest High School. winner of the grades 9 through 12th division in the category of public service video is Artificial Intelligence by the Numbers, Lake Weir High School. Artificial intelligence is taking the world by storm. It's being used in business to improve productivity and streamline jobs. Congratulations. Congratulations, students. Now, this festival has been a staple for Marion County students for 23 years. But well, who would have ever, it would have never gotten off the ground if it was not for several key people, including our next presenter. She is a retired educator who worked in Marion County School Libraries for decades. She is the brainchild of this festival who had the vision 23 years ago to recognize you, our video production students, for your amazing work. And she's the reason we're all here tonight. Welcome to the stage, Miriam Needham.
Thank you. Uh, Joel Hartley dedicated his entire career to videography. Learning his craft at the University of Florida led to sports broadcasting jobs at WCJB TV 20 in Gainesville. And that took Joel no nationwide following several Gator sports programs. He joined Marion County Public Schools in 2003 and continued improving his award-winning storytelling skills to new heights until his death in 2021. Joel's passion for students and their recognition at this festival was contagious and inspiring. We are pleased to present this award in his honor to a video demonstrating excellent storytelling and production techniques. This year's winner of the Joel Hartley Achievement in Cinematography Award goes to Now That I've Found You, Lake Weir High School. <laughs> a change in the seasons a change in the wind when you meet that person you'll know what is meant by that So glad that I found someone to circle all the planets around us. Congratulations to all of our students. Uh -huh. Now that I found you. Now comes the time to recognize the best of the best. So let's welcome our presenters for Best of Show. She's a former school principal in Orange County who later climbed the ladder to deputy superintendent of schools in Las Vegas. And she now serves as our school district's top educator and superintendent of schools. Her presenting partner directs the Public Education Foundation of Marion County, recognizing teachers for their hard work and finding mentors for students in the Take Stock and Children program. The foundation she leads is one of this festival's strongest supporters and continuing sponsors. Together, they're here to present this year's Best of Show winners. Let's welcome Superintendent Dr. Diane Gullett and Megan Magamal. Good evening. Before we get to the Best of Show, we're going to take a few minutes to conduct a very special drawing. Ms. Magmal has a basket here, and she is going to draw the name of a school that entered a video in tonight's competition, and that school will walk away. Here we go. We'll walk away with new video equipment. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> if your school's name is called, we'd like either that school's principal or the video production teacher to come forward and claim the special prize. Dr. Ready to go? Here we go. Should I shake it up a little bit? A Don't look. She's not going to peek. Okay. Okay, got one. Here, Here go. we go. The winner is Lake, Lake Weir, Weir High School. <laughs> You guys can come claim your prize if you'd like. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's exciting. So now it's the time for the best of show. Marion County's middle and high school students entered 120 videos in tonight's competition. The very best of these videos were evaluated by a panel of judges who excel in their craft, script writing, video production, and videographers, all who are looking for the best of the best. And the best of show winners will receive a best of show trophy as well as a check for $500. 
These awards were made possible by the generosity of our sponsors this evening, Robert Boisnall Oncology Institute, our very own Public Education Foundation of Marion County, Cox Communications, and Foliage Design Systems Ocala. Now I know that we told you earlier at the top of the program not to stand over there at the edge of the stage and watch your video, but for best of show, we would like you to do exactly that. We're going to show the entire video and we encourage its producers to watch it with us. All right, here we go. The best of show winner in the middle school division is, you ready? The Setup, Donellan Middle School. Hey, if you don't get your grades up, you're off the team. I'm the captain, you can't kick me off the team. Get your act together or I'm kicking you off the team. Okay, yes sir. Great job. Yes. Oh my gosh, this will be an easy A. Hey, you know you you look really nice today. Oh, thank you so much. You're so nice. So, you know, like I've been really struggling with my homework, so I was wondering if I could see yours. Yeah, sure, no problem. Thank you so much. You know, I'm the captain of the volleyball team, so you should really come to one of my games sometime. Okay, sure. Oh my, we have a quiz up. Uh go, Ben. Chelsea. Yes. Mm. Yes. Thank you so much. No problem. Oh my god. <laughs> so much. No. Do they really you. think I like him when I'm just losing him for answers? <laughs> <laughs> no. Do they really think I like him when I'm just losing him for answers? <laughs> Chelsea is going to cheat on the test. I will prove it to you. Hmm. What? Oh, what happened? Did you get a bad grade? I'm smarter than you think I am. Uh, how could you? Ben, see me after class so you can retake the test. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Dr. Gullett, the best of show winner in the high school division is Spooky Boo Forest High School. Stand up there and watch it.
congratulations to all of our students tonight. Have a good evening. Wow. You've seen this evening exactly why year after year Marion County video production students are leading the state. We would like to thank all of those who have made the 23rd annual Marion County Student Media Festival a huge success. If you missed any portion of tonight's program, you can see it all again right here on the Marion, Marion Education Channel and on YouTube at Marion County K-12. We look forward to next year when we again witness the future of television and film through the eyes of Marion County students. I am so proud of all of you and I have been honored to be your host this evening. Have a wonderful night. We would like to give a special thanks to Robert Boysono Oncology Institute, Cox Communication.